Welcome everybody to the Brownfish, Brownfish Worldwide Hand Plane Project uh, sponsored by Brownfish and GoPro. GoPro was nice enough to donate a couple cameras uh, that believe in uh, kind of the project and it was really cool for them to kick down for us and then also obviously um, Brownfish has uh, got the hand plane already ready to go. I want to go over kind of the, the product and procedures with the camera uh, the charging, downloading photos, um, uh, video, and uh, the functions of the camera. The camera that you're going to get is going to be this one. It's brand spanking new, so definitely treat it uh, like it was your own. This is the one that I've been using all summer down at Wedge in Newport. Uh, it's taken some pretty big hits, and it's still uh, working pretty very well, like it's brand new. Um, so. The camera itself, obviously it comes in its casing, it's got the mount that uh, Brownfish has test, we've tested over the summer. Uh, it's pretty pretty sturdy, but I'm sure if it took a good knock, it may come off, but it's pretty embedded in, and nailed down in there pretty good. Uh, he's done a good job of putting that together. So I want to go through some of the functions with you on the camera. This is the power on button, and this is to record. It's real simple. You just hold it down for a few seconds. It'll go ahead and start up for you. And to record, obviously, is this button. Now, as far as what's on the screen, the lower left-hand corner is going to be which mode you're shooting in. It's got five modes for recording video, uh, one through five, obviously. I like to shoot in three uh, because it shoots at 60 frames per second. And it's really good for when I slow down the videos in slow motion it actually uh, it's a lot uh, smoother of uh, playback so definitely try and shoot in R3 you're welcome to shoot in any other ones but when I'm going back through and editing and slowing down R3 is the best one to be in <clears throat> below the 21 is a little bar uh, it's got three little dots on it and that's your um, your power display for how much of a charge you have left and those will disappear as, as the battery, battery goes weaker I've got 21 shots on or videos on this one and that's your display there and the top left hand corner it uh, shows which mode you're in now this is in still shot a single shot mode you hit that and it gets you to uh, a burst mode it'll take three sh single photos and then the next mode is your video and you'll see a little video camera there that's when obviously you want to record when you are recording just hit that button this will flash and that will flash as well and just push it again to stop I usually shoot my videos uh, with the power on the whole time so meaning I've got the camera on but it's in just in standby mode so that whenever I see some action or whatever I want to record just hit the button to start hitting again to stop and go on about your session uh, this it lasts for I've had it on a full charge, um, two and a half, three hours, and it's done very well. Uh, so definitely charge it before every <clears throat> every session. You'd hate to. I, I had this happen. Forgot to charge it one time. Took it out halfway through the session. It goes dead. Uh, so keep that in mind. Now the camera itself just pops out. It's got this mount, uh, or I'm sorry, the casing uh, comes out. Looks like this. It's got its ports here. This is the USB port that, that's going to come with the cable. You just plug it in to either both download the videos or to charge the battery. Obviously, you put the other end in your USB port and you can charge the battery. Do not take the battery out. That's not how you charge it. You just charge it through this port. You also download your videos through that port as well. You just plug it in, turn the camera on, and it'll, it'll say USB here and, and they'll, your, your computer should pop up. Uh, a folder to uh, open up your files. The card itself, it's coming with a four gig card, plenty of room uh, to shoot your session. You can get multiple sessions on it. Um, I've got an eight gig card on my other camera that it's held 300 short individual movies and it still wasn't full so it's got plenty of room in there for you. Um, you can also download your, your footage by just popping the card out. If you have the newer computer, there's a card slot in there. You can just pop it in. These little strips here, these are like little silica strips. Uh, they're good to um, have inside the housing itself because if you don't, the condensation inside of the housing with the uh, heat of the battery, it'll get the lens of fog up and 
nothing worse than have a fogged up lens when you're trying to record so do try and keep these in here keep them clean um, put them in the side you know pop your camera in slip them in the side here and then close up the camera do and try and keep the housing clean once you're done surfing uh, rinse it also make sure and wipe your seal make sure you don't have any sand in there you don't want it to seal and also this this part up here is keep it clear of sand as well uh, that way it'll it's real easy to close if you don't then it's hard uh, you're more than welcome to take the camera off or mount and take it about with you around town um, you know, record some good footage of your local area and your your city and your country, whatever you want to do. Um, definitely, the sites of where you are and is it's important in this because it, I'm going to put a movie together at the end of all this. Um, one of the ways that I'd like you to send the footage, there's a website called YouSendIt.com. It's Y-O-U-S-E-N-D-I-T.com. All you have to do is upload your video to there. And it'll ask for an email address of who you'd like to send it to. It'll down, it'll upload your, your footage. And then it'll send me an email uh, to dailybread.photo at gmail.com of when it's ready to download. Uh, it's free, um, but, you'll, but you have to upload one at a time. It's a pay service if you want to upload multiple files. Um, but I'm trying to keep this on the cheap for everybody. Uh, so if you could do that, definitely send your best footage. Uh, of what you feel is worthy because again like I said I'm putting together a full-length film at the end of all this I do try and keep this um, a lot of the footage uh, to yourself or in your circle of friends uh, try to avoid you know YouTube and Vimeo and sites because like I said I like to try and keep this fairly exclusive because it's gonna be a long project uh, probably a year and a half through uh, North and South America Europe South Africa Australia, New Zealand, um, it, Japan, it's going everywhere. So uh, do have fun with it. And if you have any questions or problems, uh, email me. We have a backup camera. And uh, the package is going to come to you with um, addresses of the next people uh, that will be on the list. Uh, some of you guys will be local for each other. I know in Australia there's a few that are within the same general vicinity. So I'll have all the contact uh, info in there, and uh, if you do have, like I said, any problems, uh, email me immediately so we can address those. But have fun with it. The GoPro is a great little camera. I've used lots of cameras over the past few years, water cameras, and this one definitely is pretty bitchin'. It's got a fisheye lens on it, high depth video, uh, it takes still photos. Uh, it's pretty cool. So feel free to you know carry it around outside of the case to obviously you know. Um, around your town or country or whatnot um, but do try and keep it in the case obviously when you're in or around the water uh, but have fun with it like i said and appreciate all your help and uh, have fun and get barreled and and let's see what you got